what up ladies and gents today i'm actually going to show you how to interrupt with every single weapon in the game i was asked to do this because apparently there are no other guides out there and fair enough people told me to uh, do it so i'll do it all right with the sword what you got to understand is that there's two ways to interrupt a behemoth the first is with your heavy attack all right if you look at your move list here heavy attacks can interrupt behemoths all right let me get rid of my webcam so you can see can interrupt behemoths the other way is through your blade surge in case you didn't know this combo which is by holding down the right uh well you're he holding down the heavy attack button you can unleash a blade surge of energy that can interrupt a behemoth all right i know it's not stated in the game but it actually can and we're going to demonstrate this on the ember main so this is just a level one ember main and keep in mind this is a now you got to be very careful because i'm using sturdy so that I can accurately interrupt a behemoth, all right, even if I take a hit. But you gotta be very, very careful because if you if you let this thing hit you, right, you will not interrupt, instead, instead your attack will be interrupted, all right? I can't demonstrate that here because I've specifically designed my build not to be interrupted by the behemoth and instead to interrupt, but if you use your heavy attack, well, that is all happen. Now, I'm just gonna charge energy here by whacking this thing down. It'll die, but uh, that's okay. Once I've charged enough energy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find another Ember Bane and I'll show you the Blade Rush Interrupt. The Blade Surge Interrupt, whatever. Okay, so the next Ember Bane is 200 meters away. We're going to go over there. After that, I'll change weapons live. Please note that the build that you're going to see is a is just a trash build. It's designed solely for testing purposes and to reveal nothing about my actual builds. But we'll just change weapons so that you guys can see how to interrupt with the different weapons. Okay, look at this Ember Main here. I'm going to demonstrate the other interruption move. When it starts charging me, I press and hold. Boom. Do you see that energy? It wasn't from the heavy attack. It was the energy itself that interrupts. And I'll demonstrate that again. All right. Wait till it gets up. Come on, you filthy animal. Yeah. He's going to start charging. Boom. The energy will interrupt. There. You got it. Okay, good. I'm glad you do. Let's, uh, let's kill this off. And then I will change weapons over. And you guys will get to see the next interruption. So why am I demonstrating on level 1 Ember Mains? Because it's the easiest way to show you what moves can interrupt a behemoth. Alright, let me toss down a supply crate somewhere in these bush... And don't, don't pirouette right now. Okay, bushlands and... Uh, Alright, the next weapon on the list is the axe. Okay, to interrupt with the axe is a fairly simple process. The heavy attack of the axe will interrupt. Now, keep in mind that I'm using Sturdy in this build to avoid the behemoth uh, whacking me, all right, and interrupting me while I'm delivering the interrupt. If you don't have the interrupt, you need to swing properly. Otherwise, you will take a hit instead, and you will take damage, all right? And that will not be pleasant. So I'm using Sturdy for educational purposes, but keep in mind that interrupting requires some skill and timing. With the axe, okay, only... Two moves, again, can interrupt. One is the, horiz the horizontal attack. Actually, the horizontal and vertical attack can both interrupt. But the horizontal attack is a lot easier to interrupt with. And I'm going to show you a trick later for interrupting. You can also interrupt by throwing your axe, just so you know. Um, the axe throw is what I'll demonstrate first, probably. See? Boom. That'll interrupt. We'll let it get back up, and then I'll demonstrate the horizontal swing interrupt. Okay? Keep in mind that, again, I have sturdy. All right? I have sturdy. So, because of that, I will be more easily able to interrupt. Okay, horizontal can interrupt. Now, there's an easier way to do this. If you jump, you can do something called the axe slide. Okay, it's a, it's, a, it's a movement trick. But usually, if I want to interrupt with the axe, I will use a jump attack instead. A jump horizontal, alright? So, we'll wait for the Ember Man to get all chargy, and then jump horizontal. See, it's so much easier to do this because you can literally shift your position and slide around. You see that? This is called axe sliding. All right, this is a technique with the axe to get hits in really weird hitboxes. See, like that. So get used to that technique and you'll easily be able to, um, you know, lay the smack down on behemoths. So I hope that information helps. Anyway, let's finish this off. Okay, that's done. Oh, my supply crate's still there. I can show off a third weapon without having to reset to Ramsgate. Yes! That's good. That's good. Let me bring back my amazing face for a second. Okay? 
So axe, three ways to interrupt. Throwing your axe, horizontal attack, and the most popular is the jumping slide attack, sliding horizontal. All right, it's very useful. Um, okay, let me get back here. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm gonna change this over to the hammer. Now the hammer, uh, same same thing pretty much. Your your swings can interrupt, but timing is everything. All right, timing is everything and very annoying. But um, the hammer also has one particular special that can interrupt. But this special is not required to pull off this move. Watch this. If you press your um, heavy attack twice rapidly, you'll do that, right? This thing can interrupt. Even if you don't have your concussive salvo. Oh shit. Well, uh, well, the crate went away, so I guess I'll show you. So with the hammer, um, the standard swing can interrupt. All right, so very simple standard swing, it interrupts. But as you can see, I took a hit there while trying to interrupt. Unlike with the axe, you cannot do a sliding swing. I mean, you can, but there's no sliding ability like with the axe, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, but what you can do is by double pressing the by using your evasive uh special sort of like that but it's hard it's hard to get the timing right i'm just not good with the hammer but i really want to demonstrate it to you guys if possible um can you not be tired right now and remain i really need to show this off to people but yeah but by basically doing doing that you can interrupt the behemoth as well let's let's wait for it to run again and i'll try that come on you piece of shit run run you silly and remain Okay, I was a bit too soon on that. Yes, charge at me, charge at me. There you go, you see? The evasive, the evasive shot can do it, but honest to God, it's a gigantic pain in the ass to ever do that, so... You know, I don't really bother. Um, if I really want to interrupt on the hammer, I, I'd rather use discipline. Because that is the easiest way to actually interrupt. Okay, returning to Ramsgate. Now, keep in mind that I'm going to demonstrate a repeater interrupt later but the repeater interrupt will only involve using omni cells why will i not show you the repeater interrupt using the uh salvo chamber specific builds things like that it's because again it was it was um it is honestly a waste of time to create that it is a huge waste of time to create that um or to have to build specifically to interrupt with the repeaters. Okay, it is a technique that if if you really want, I can show, but I'm not going to because it is pointless to show, since it is something that you have to again build specifically for, which is a waste of time. Okay, again, I'm just putting in the trash cells. Not that the cells themselves are trash, but I just made this build for shits and giggles. Okay, we're going back to Emberthorn Cove, and again, I will now show you the chain blades. And then after the chain blades is what? After the chain blades, it's war pike, repeaters, and strikers. Okay, easy enough. Well, okay, we're departing now. So with the chain blades, your light attack itself is able to interrupt. So I'm going to demonstrate that, and then I'm gonna show you guys the easiest way to use the light attack to interrupt the enemy behemoth, all right? So your normal light attack swings can interrupt the behemoth, okay? any of your normal light attack swings can do so but there is one in particular which is the dashing light attack that actually does the best at interrupting okay once again that will be demonstrated to you okay so just so you know any of these light attacks which i will show you in a little while with the first one charging me can interrupt all right again we've got sturdy for demonstration purposes here we go okay come on he stopped a little short. Come on, Ember Pain. Get in here. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Okay, I'm gonna move a bit closer toward him. There you go. Your light attack itself can interrupt him, all right? But the dashing light attack is what you wanna use to really interrupt. For some reason, it's just faster and better at interrupting. I'll show you. I'll show you that technique. It's the one that you see me use on stream most often. Come on, Ember Pain. Yeah, man, come on. Do you do your proper charging attack? Come here, come here. Now, in some situations, you will not be able to do it, like when he does these little dashes, but yes. You see that? Dash and light attack, you can interrupt with that. That is what I find easier than standing still and, and waiting for a swing. Alright, so just so you know, that is the that is the ideal way to interrupt with the uh, 
chain blades, all right? Ooh, a text from my goyle. Let me check it soon. You filthy nerd. Over here. There you go. Let's check that. Do your best to survive. Okay, so now that the um, now that the chain blades are settled, I will demonstrate the repeat uh, war pike. Almost said repeaters there. Did I not put down a? Sp Why the hell did it move over there? Okay, it doesn't matter. War pike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will do. Uh, tenacious. I'm gonna switch back to the concussive payload. Okay, so with the war pike, there's three ways you can interrupt: your heavy attack spin, and your concussive pike shot. Sorry, two ways. Three ways. Shooting this video at 4 a.m. was probably not a good idea, but whatever. Um, okay, so when this charges at you, it is the round swing, okay? So it is this part of the, the second part of the swing. Do you see that? The It is the second part, not the first part. The first part where it goes around, that doesn't do anything. It's the second part. So watch again closely, all right? You notice I start my swing a bit early, and then the second part of the swing interrupts the Ember Bane. Now, uh, just, for, just for the uh, showcase, I'm going to... Uh, charge up one shot. Okay, so your uh, concussive shot can also interrupt, which is very important for people to know. There you go. You shoot him in the face, he, he gets interrupted. Now, your other heavy attacks in the combo can also interrupt, just so you know. Okay, this part, this part, the backswing and the spin, all of them can interrupt. But normally, to do a proper interruption, you just want to do the first part of the swing. Remember, it is the second half of the swing that does the interruption, not the first part, okay? So just be very aware of that when interrupting with the pike. That is very, very important. Um, heading back to the crate now. And war pike interruptions are done. Okay, uh, I'm actually going to show off the Aether Strikers first because this is so much easier to showcase. Um, what I will tell you is that the easiest way to interrupt with the Aether Strikers... In fact, I'm not even going to bother putting in proper cells. The easiest way to interrupt with Aether Strikers is... Now, your heavy attack can interrupt. Your rolling heavy attack, all this can interrupt. All right? I'll just demonstrate that. Your heavy attack can interrupt. So, I'm going to do that. Bang. You can interrupt with the heavy attack. But, if you know, if you do your um, second combo, where you have the multiple punches, this section with the multiple punches can actually interrupt. So, light, heavy, heavy. This combo is the best for interrupting. Watch this. It's so easy to interrupt this. Light, heavy. Light, heavy. Light, heavy. Yeah, this combo is ideal for interruption. But if the thing is charging at you and you don't have time to set that up, set up what I call the wall of fists, all right? You can you can interrupt with um, the heavy attack. Now, your second, your second ability, the um, Karma Breaker, can also interrupt. So just watch that. Boom. It can interrupt. And your third ability can also interrupt, assuming that you're using uh, Titan's Crash. Let me check if I have Titan's Crash on this. Yes, I do. Okay, I'll demonstrate Titan's Crash on the next hapless little Ember Main to pop up. Um, but yes, you can also use Titan's Crash to interrupt. Uh, just that it's not recommended to use these combos for the purpose of interruption. They are they are far better used in like actual comp for like actually dealing DPS or whatever. Uh, shit, the Ember Rain didn't spawn. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, yeah. In this in this particular case, I gotta do all three combos, so... Don't mind me. Three. One. Now, maintaining the combo might be a little bit annoying. But that's okay. Yo, go ahead, run. Run. Yeah, you see, the combo can interrupt, but usually the behemoth will hit you before it interrupt, before you can interrupt with it. So again, this is just a comprehensive example of how to interrupt. Um, again, with the strikers, your mid combo is the best, and your heavy attack can also do it. But again, look, it's just so easy with the mid combo. Guaranteed interrupts most of the time. Okay. All right. Now I'm good. The last thing I'm gonna demonstrate is the freaking uh, either is the freaking repeaters. 
And I guess I can do a more thorough, um, uh, thorough explanation on that one. I'm not going to show the interrupt with the saboteur's grip, though. I'm not. And I'll tell you why. Again, it's because it is fucking annoying to set up, so I'm really not going to bother with that. I'm going to show you two things. With the repeaters, the best way to interrupt is with the Omnicell Discipline, which I'm going to demonstrate. The other thing that I'm going to show you guys is how to set up an interrupt using the uh, uh, Salvo Chamber, okay? Your mod doesn't matter. Your bond doesn't matter. But you must have the Salvo Chamber, all right? And you're going to need two cells to do it. You're going to need Weighted Strike plus six. Weighted Strikes plus six, okay? And I'll show you why. Okay, I'm going to remove my webcam again for a second. If you look at the description of Weighted Strikes plus six, range swings and missiles interrupt unstable behemoth attacks, all right? So this is going to be very important when you want to interrupt. I'm going to switch to the Discipline Omni Cell. All right, let's go back to the um, Emberthorn Cove so I can demonstrate this. Now, whether you are empowered or not with the Salvo Chamber is not going to matter. You will be able to interrupt. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind when you want to see when you see this in action. All right. Um, if you're wondering why I am I am just letting this video run and not doing any cuts or anything, it's just so you see that there's no hanky panky. These are all just the legitimate ways that you can interrupt with every single weapon in every possible way. And these are all the best ways to interrupt. A behemoth, again, I think a lot of people have been asking for this. So, yeah. I will try and do right by you guys. Okay, so first thing I'm going to demonstrate is the unempowered shot, which you will see. Um, and then the empowered version, and then, uh, sorry, then the Omnicell version, then the empowered version. Okay, so when the Ember is charging at you, shoot! You see? If you use your salvo chamber, you can interrupt. All the other barrels do not do this. Keep that in mind. Okay, they do not do this. Now, my empowered shot's not ready, but my discipline Omnicell is. The easiest way to interrupt with the repeaters is to just use your Omni Cell. Okay, that was a bit off on the timing, but yeah. Now with the Empowered Shot, I'm going to show you the same thing. I'm going to demonstrate the interruption. Alright. When you shoot it, now it might take a while to charge, but as long as it's unstable, you shoot it, you will get the interrupt. Okay, but again, you need Weighted Strikes plus 6 for that to happen. Okay, you don't actually want to have that in your arsenal because it's really useless so the best way is to just use an omni cell all right that brings us to the end of this video thank you guys for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe if you want to support the channel even further you can drop a tip via the link in the description of the video you can send super thanks on youtube you can join as a channel member or you can drop by my streams and drop super chats all right we appreciate it if you do um the thank you listing will be up up by this weekend so look forward to it and once again, thank you very much for watching this video. All right, I hope this helped teach you how to interrupt with every single weapon in the game. So now you can go whack all the unstable behemoths. Y'all have fun. I'll see you on the next one.